good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i'm back once again with the comgrow large cover friends today we're going to unbox and assemble the camera so let's get cracking all right everybody so we are actually putting the enclosure to use we've got the extra lighting in here so maybe that'll be beneficial inside the box we have got the module you can see there are attachments right here for the pipes that are going to rise up these are the parts that are going to attach actually to the laser inside this box we have all the mounting hardware and over here we have cables and another support friends i'm going to get in that manual and let's see what it takes to build it friends quickly assembly part one we're going to do the rod with the adapter when we're done it'll look like that all right so make sure you find both of these if this is falling out put it back in and then find the shortest of the three rods once you've got it in like that we're going to tighten it down and put it on both ends find the largest of the three included allen wrenches and simply tighten it down enough so that it'll stay you'll still want to be able to move it later and then of course we're going to repeat that same step for the other end and then like i said a moment ago i'm only tightening this down enough so that it stays together because we'll have to adjust the angles when we actually attach them there we go all in place the next step is to find the other two bars and the end connector and connect them just like that i'm going to start with the longest bar this is going to connect up at the top Make sure you spin it around and find the side with the hex and get it fastened a little bit. Then find the other piece and slide it in. And when you've got both in place, you can firmly tighten it up. Easy peasy. Friends, for part three, we're simply going to put this in between that L we just made. Alrighty friends, so this part slides on just like this when you've got each of these rails connected you can tighten them down i'm going to tell you ahead of time this is hard to do up in the air like i'm doing it you should be doing it flat on a table but i am all out of table space i did plan ahead and i made sure all of these were facing up so when it came so when it was time to tighten them down it was a lot easier to get my wrench on it that one i got messed up so notice I just have to spin it 180 degrees and now I can lock it in place just like that sturdy and ready to roll friends it is time to switch to part four we're gonna get the camera mount the 8 megapixel camera we're gonna get two m26 screws T nuts and m420 screws and it's going to be attached out near the end of the pole that we just built first we're going to assemble it like this and then we're going to add it on so here is the support notice it's got that rail like we used earlier cameras in a nice protective packet here are the m Two, six screws and when you flip this over there are actually holes for all three and there are holes for all three on the camera so I actually will put those all in this is also a good time to point out that I missed the smallest Allen wrench when I was pulling them out of that bag fat head out of the way and you can see that I've tightened those all in and while I see it, I'm going to peel off the protective layer as well. Here are the M422s. Uh, They're in a step 3 pouch. Even though we're doing this, I think, as part of step 4. And if you look at the camera holder, there's a side where the screw would go. And on the other side, you've got the opening for where the T-nut goes. When you do put on your boat nut, make sure the little part that hangs down is closer to the inside. So the big part's out and the locking part is on the inside. Rinse and repeat. Alright everybody, with that tightened up, I've got those in so they're ready to lock. 
we're going to put this piece out front and let's tighten it in all right do note because of the way this squeezes together you are going to have to turn these a little tighter than the ones that you did over on the other side of the post all right friends so let me just clue you here on five and six notice these are with the z1 if you have got the d1 notice it has different steps when you get back to these steps i do have the z1 so these are going to be the steps that i show you note i have spun the laser around and this is going to go right here another thing i'm loving about this enclosure that light is tremendously helpful and it's awesome that it's large enough that you can spin it around and actually do the assembly inside here Alrighty, friends we are going to attach bolt nuts just like this there are two kinds of bolt nuts these do not fit the x1 so make sure you leave the larger ones out get the ones that are more normal if you're 3d printing a lot like i was and then simply from one side put them in with the little nub hanging down just like that now it is ready to be pushed in right there when you slide those in just make sure they actually go in and as you tighten them they will actually lock in place you can lean it out so that you can see to make sure you've got them and I'm gonna do that with all four before I actually lock it that one was already in the groove and this one was in the groove as well and then you probably want to get it centered if you're one of those mathematical people you can measure right now I'm gonna just go with ish and I'll adjust later if I need bingo step six is right here it attaches with these little nuts boom let's lock it in place I am just gonna finger start these because that's easier to show you then we can tighten them down with the wrench after we've got them in and then let's slide the arm in and start tightening them down I'm gonna do a little bit of each before I totally lock them and bingo it's installed friends there you have it simple steps for assembling and installing your camera module for your comgrow z1 now friends i'm going to set this up with light burn and get all those things going in a separate video but now you at least know how to put it together and if you're looking for one of these there will be a link in the description and of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day